Uh, there is a, an HTML5 drum sequencer demo somewhere floating around the web, but I haven't found a single browser that would run so pretty well. So HTML5 for HTML5 for audio is uh, at this point is uh, not usable. Uh, then I started to build it with uh, the phone gap and the uh, like data <coughs> works, but again the audio latency was useless. So uh, uh, actually I was pretty disappointed. So I had tried all those different ways, and I couldn't build the same simple app on multiple mobile platforms. I was uh, depressed for about uh, five minutes, I think. I started moving on. So, uh, much to my surprise and my uh, well, this one provided the web for some kind of apps uh, is not a good way to deploy mobile apps. Obviously, there are apps that work perfectly as a web app, but not music apps. Then I came to, well, there is only one solution left, local apps. So not the story I wanted to tell. But, uh, okay. And this is a, a tweet from uh, Joey Yu, of course, uh, one of the uh, best known developers in the world for the talks on fire and And uh, he said, why are app stores cutting the web and luring developers like me away from it? Evil proprietary tech is blowing the web away. Which is exactly my feeling. Because they, and, and he says, I want desperately to be a web developer again, if I have to wait until 2020 for browsers to do what mobile devices can do now, I won't wait. And that's exactly the point. The, if you want to deploy a mobile app today, you automatically arrive at local apps. That is not the way it should be in my mind. So probably in 10 years time, it will be another story, but today, uh, so, yes, the time is now for mobile, but um, in my mind, it's, it's not a pretty nice way. But anyway, the mobile is good, so. Uh, and we don't have a choice, so, uh, so I'm going to do it. Back to the, to the mobile app. Um, I've uh, written a blog post about it, and there I said I, I created the, the same app for uh, Android and uh, uh, Windows Mobile and iPhone. It's, uh, a little exaggeration. I uh, created the same framework and the, the, the bare bones uh, demo app for both platforms, uh, all three platforms, just to well, have a soundboard and a place for sounds. But uh, actually, I only uh, finished the, uh, the app work one. Uh, you know, two are uh, really usable, so you can expect uh, this uh, in the coming weeks in, uh, in the Android store or uh, just in my blog. And uh, I started playing with it. It's pretty nice to play with. It's, uh, Android has also uh, multi-touch. It's a bit limited to two points uh, at this moment. Yeah. It's useful. Then I start adding some other apps. Uh, this is the uh, Pocket Stone Box. It's running on Windows Mobile. And it uh, has all kinds of uh, real-time effects. Uh, does this mean anything to uh, anyone? Tracker. Indeed, it's a tracker. You can hear I'm getting quite uh, <laughs> enthusiastic about it. It's uh, everybody who has ever owned Vega, everybody who is uh, I don't know, 33 plus or something, uh, has, that, has used this. It's a tracker application. It's, uh, it was one of the first uh, ways of uh, creating, uh, in a simple way, uh, electronic music. And this tracker application is uh, real key tracker. It's an open source one, and it runs on uh, well, everything. Uh, including Windows Mobile, so this was also uh, one of my instruments. It's pretty nice, so you can use your desktop PC to lay out the, uh, the module, and then you can uh, use your mobile phone to play that same module, so you can just edit and play on uh, multiple, uh, uh, multiple devices. Sorry, now it's, really, it's a really cool toy. Then there's this one, it's a uh, uh, Icebreak and guitar, it's running on iPhone. <coughs> and actually, uh, the end of my demo is all about this. So, uh, I created some apps, but they're merely just uh, well, a sideshow of this app. I uh, 
Well, I, I, this is really an amazing app. I wish I could write stuff like that for that account. So uh, I'm going to demo it uh, in a few minutes. It's a guitar app, and it's uh, well, pretty good. So you also have all kinds of effects and demos, which are and stuff like that. And uh, I must say, uh, playing with uh, creating music on mobile devices, uh, well, uh, for those kind of applications, there's only one platform, that's iPhone at this moment. Uh, in my opinion, the uh, uh, virtual layer on uh, that's Android uh, is not powerful enough at this moment to do the same stuff as you can do with audio on iPhone, for example. So, uh, well, during the past weeks, I've heard the last my iPhone, just like anyone else. Um, I created this. That's uh, actually a, a gadget called a, a, a Nurgle Struggle, <laughs> which is a, a fantastic word. I mean, it is a Nurgle Struggle. It's a struggle thing, a guitar thing for, for nerds. For geeks, excuse me, the word. Okay. It's a geek poster. Um, so it's basically uh, just a whole lot of smartphones taped to a piece of wood. This is the uh, thing. The Windows mobile phone is missing because I'm, I'm leaving that for another time. Mm -hmm. So this is it. Um, it's uh, self-contained, so this is the speaker and the, all the audio inputs just go to the speaker. Uh, I'm going to play it in a moment. And, uh, as uh, a demo for today, I created a, a little video. That's this one. Um, it's uh, four days on YouTube now, and uh, yesterday we had uh, 12,000 views, and uh, today it's, uh, it's around uh, uh, 27,000, so it's going pretty good, so thanks all for the retweets and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty geeky, even for my standards, I like it not long, it's, it's pretty good. So, uh, Let's fire it. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to repeat the entire song that's on the YouTube video, so just go to YouTube to see it. Steph, set, set the micro on. Steph, set the micro nog aan. Uh, nee, maar dat zal wel... Anders heb ik u niet op, op video. <laughs> <laughs> 